Hi. Uh, let me help you through this video to understand how do you conduct a gauge on a Renova test using Minitab and how do you read it. So go to stats, quality tools, gauge study, cross design, choose part in part, operator in operator, response in response, go to options, specify, any tolerance let's say I'm specifying a tolerance of 0.5 press OK if you see it publishes a graph right at the start let's look at one graph at a time you know let's look at this one the first thing that it is saying is part to part the last thing it is saying is gauge RNR the most Simple. The simplest of things to, to understand a gauge R and R is through this chart. It is imperative that part to part must be much higher than gauge R and R. Here I see that the bar of part to part is smaller than gauge R and R. Failed. Prima facie, I am not willing to accept the measurement system. The part is smaller than gauge. And these two help you understand what contributes. So if you see the repeatability chart, repeatability is bar is bigger and the reproducibility bar is not visible, which means the maximum contribution to measurement variation comes from repeatability. Right? Prima facie through this I would I would conclude that my gauge R not test has failed let's let's look at it further I will I will explain the other graphs also I hope you remember the three golden rules the first once one amongst them says that the number of distinct categories must be greater than or equal to four in this case it is equal to one God bless us we are in trouble so gauge R and R is failed again second is gauge R and R is a percentage of tolerance so out of the total variation observed of 111665.59, the contribution from gauge R and R is 102.560, which is, which is exactly 91.85%. Very, very poor. Gauge R and R as a percentage of total variation must not be greater than 10%. If it is less than 10, it is considered good. If it is between 10 and 30, in certain situations you may accept it. Greater than 30, you will have to reject it. The next thing to understand is gauge R and R as a percentage of contribution. Here you see that the total contribution of gauge R and R is 84.36 against a contribution of part to part of 15.64. Not acceptable. So all three rules of gauge R and R have failed. Let me draw the chart again. Let's let's look at the graphs on your right side. So if you see here, it is saying operator one marked in black, red mark uh, which is the operator two, green as the operator three. I have three distinct parts, part number one, part number two, and part number three. So part number one measured by operator number two is less than a 350. Can I draw a cross area? No, I can't. So uh, it is less than 350 if you see 350 lies here. So part number one as measured by operator number two is 334. As measured by operator number one is 385. And as measured by uh, operator number 3 is 401. God bless us. Huge variation. Huge variation. The mean of the three operators is very very far away. Had there been little or no measurement error, you would have seen that the three means would have juxtaposed on each other or at least would have been very very close. Here again, you see that they are very far away from each other. Part number 2 as measured by Operator num operator which is green is 3. Operator 3 is 433. The mean of 
measurement mean of measurement of operator number 2 is 457 mean of for uh, mean of part number 2 measured by operator number 1 is 487 very very far apart like i said had there been little or no measurement error they would have been very very close to each other unacceptable this is very far away hence you would say that it is not okay let's go to response by part so i have part number 1 i have part number 2 i have part number 3 no if there is no measurement error have if i measured my part number 1 let's say 5 times or 10 times or 20 times the best condition will be that all data point is 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 on uh, is juxtaposed at each other let me let me change the data for you once let's say part number 3 i am changing everything right now to 412 412 look at what has happened to part number 3 every data point is juxtaposed at each other look at what has happened here all means juxtaposed at each other if they are juxtaposed meaning that the measurement variation is very very little very very little or or absolutely no measurement variation yeah if we go back to our sheet it still is number of distinct categories is still 1 less than 4 not acceptable gauge rnr as a percentage of tolerance is 89 not acceptable and gauge rnr as a percentage of contribution is about 80 still not acceptable let me change this itself let's let me take everything to close to 385 so i've i've i'm brought part number 2 very close to each other now let's work at part number 3 let me bring it to 150 not exactly 150 i will change a few to i will bring all of them as close as they should be Now let's conduct the same test again. Voila! You here you see, part to part is a single bar that you see. Gauge RNR is gone. All points juxtaposed at each other. All three lines juxtaposed at each other. Number of distinct categories now is two hundred and eight. we said if it is greater than equal to 4 it is acceptable pass part to part is 100% fantastic and gauge rnr as a percentage of total contribution is 0% part to part is the one which is contributing brilliant this is the ideal measurement system that you should have i hope this very simple video helps you understand how do you conduct a gauge rnr using minitab and how do you read it thank you